When the phone call came that the heart was available, obviously we had this mad dash to get dressed because it's 1 a.m. in the morning. You have to think about the donor, the donor's family having a tragic event. Right now, transplanting a human heart is still extremely difficult for three reasons. One, the supply is very limited. Only a very small number of organ donors end up donating viable hearts, and not all of those make it into recipients. Two, you can't just swap out a heart. The heart and recipient have to be a good enough match. The biggest problem is that you only have six hours to work with. The longer the heart is outside of the body, the riskier it is to implant that heart. And the reason these problems are such problems is because of this. Despite all the advances we have made in the past 40 years in modern medicine, we still are dependent on a cooler and a time clock that we are w working against. The concept of using a uh, heart on a machine has been a um, intriguing and a fascinating subject. The organ care system is an integrated system that allows transplant teams to keep the organs alive, beating and breathing between the donor and recipient instead of storing them on ice. Transmedics and the pioneers in this company have been working on this concept for two decades now. After the heart is removed from a donor, it's attached to what is called the organ care system, or OCS. It's kept warm, it's fed nutrients, it circulates blood, it's essentially kept alive. Now there's no longer a race against the clock. OCS allows us to take that variable out of the equation. A good illustration of this issue is the fact that on an annual basis, more than 30 or 40 hearts in Hawaii go unused. Because of the distance, these hearts cannot be transported to the mainland. This technology can potentially afford those hearts to the rest of the country and vice versa. Organ care system technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we practice solid organ transplantation. Heart in a box is going to replace the old therapy. Nothing to do with ice. That should be a happy feeling that the donor didn't completely die. That donor is now alive in me.